Only you satisfy. Only you satisfy. Nothing this world has to give can compare to what he has already given. And in Psalm 107, it, it tells us how, how to actually rest in the satisfaction that is Christ. In verse 8, he says, Oh, that men would. That means they don't always do. David's saying, just imagine with me, if you would, what could happen in the earth if, if men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness? Come on, how many, has anybody here experienced the goodness of the Lord on a level? You just gotta give him thanks tonight. You just gotta give him praise tonight. He said, oh, oh that men would give thanks to the Lord for his wonderful works to the children of men. To the, for the wonderful works to the children of men. How many of you, God, has done some wonderful works in your life? How many of you recognize what it's like when the miracle working hand of God shows up in your situation? But then he begins to say, God's not done yet. It says that 
He satisfies the longing soul. That means that he quenches every thirst with a river that never runs dry. He fills the hungry soul with goodness. And what he's saying is where you're thirsty, I've got what you need. Where you're hungry, don't look anywhere else. I've got what you want. He wants to satisfy your thirst. He wants to fill you in the place of your hunger. But he says it's the giving of thanks that reminds us who he is, what he's done, and also positions us for what he's about to do. And then David goes on and talks about what he's about to do. And the way that he talks to him about reminding or speaking to what he's about to do is by reminding them what God has done. How many know sometimes you just need to hear a testimony? And this was the testimony that David gave. He said, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Does anybody here tonight need some healing? You may need healing in your marriage. You may need healing in your body. You may need some healing in your finances. You may need to be delivered from what looks like destruction. I know distraction leads to destruction. The enemy tries to get us to look, look away so we lose sight of the way. But David was reminding them, and I believe he's reminding us, that God sent a word to heal you. His name is Jesus. And whenever you need healing in tonight, Jesus is here to bring healing in that place. And he is the light of the world, so he doesn't need any lights. Amen? Because sometimes all he wants is all of you. And I just want to encourage you right now, whatever it looks like, to give thanks. You see, thanks is the cup by which you're satisfied. Thanks is the table that he has prepared. Come on, if you, listen, if you can get distracted by some lights, you are, you ain't gonna reach your destiny. Come on, we're not here to get distracted. We're here to get, we're here to get breakthrough. We're here to, to press in. We're here to move forward. We're not here to just see the way things have been. We're about to see them the way that they could be, should be, and would be in God. Oh, that men, just imagine if they would give thanks. Just imagine what it would be like if you gave thanks to the Lord for his wonderful works to the children of men. And it's not just about giving thanks like he just delivered a pizza. It's, it's giving thanks on the level that he's worked wonderfully in your life. Yes, he satisfies. Yes, it's available to us. But we need to receive satisfaction tonight in the act of thanksgiving and the act of remembering and also in receiving. Because if you're here tonight and you do need healing, how many of you, let me see your hands. How many need healing in your body? How many, need, does anybody need healing in your mind? Somebody need healing in your, in your finances? Got them, them broke finances, you need some fixed finances, hallelujah. Does anybody need healing in your marriage? Healing in a relationship between maybe a, 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 a son and a father, a mother and a daughter, an employer and an employee, a partner in a business. Does anybody here need healing? He's got the healing you need. He has the deliverance that you need and it's found in your thanks. So can we give him thanks tonight and receive, receive the satisfying of our soul. Allow him to fill the hungry parts. Come on. It's in this place. Come on. It's in this place. Listen, actions reveal appetite. Actions reveal appetite. Come on. Are we hungry for him? Are we thirsty for him? Come on. Come on. Oh, you must not need much of a healing. You must not need much of a breakthrough. He must not have been that good to you. He must not have worked wonderfully in your life. Come on, come on, come on. What if we were to give thanks on the level he's worked wonderfully for us? What if we really gave him the praise, the honor, and the glory to his name? What could happen in our city tonight if we began to sing like he was worthy? If we began to dance like he deserved all honor? 
Come on, we're just going to take a moment right now and just get undignified. We're going to take a moment right now and thank Him in whatever way you can. Some of y'all need to lose the fear of what others think so that you can find your true self in Christ tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on. just like in your area of prayer. I know abstract prayers get abstract answers, but specific prayers get specific breakthrough. And beginning to thank God in specific areas. So often you just thank God, we just throw up as a blanket, just as a blanket statement, but you'll never have more of what you want until you're thankful for what you have. And as we begin to start just thanking specifically right now what God is doing in our lives, in our relationships, in our ministries, our marriages, our finances, uh, our, our workplace, our world. You know, all the time we're distracted from seeing what God is doing by what the enemy is trying to narrate to us and through us. But Thanksgiving quiets the devil and it turns up the volume on God. So just take a moment right now and get specific. God, I thank you for, and you fill in the blank. God, I thank you for fill in the blank. There it is. There it is. Wow, there's a shift in perspective right now happening all over the room right now. Come on, you're beginning to see things you didn't think were there. You're beginning to recognize the goodness of God in situations that didn't look good without God. You recognize it's not about God showing up because he's already shown up. Now it's about him showing out. Jesus. Thank you, God. 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 Listen, you're just you're just one thank you away from your miracle. Come on, you're just you're just one. You're just one thanksgiving away from your breakthrough. Jesus. Jesus. Thanksgiving unwraps the package of the gift that God has given you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And now I want you to find someone here. And everybody go find someone and just let them know how thankful you are for them. And let that, let that expression of thanksgiving become a prophetic word. You can start thanking them for stuff you know in the natural, but then I want you to start prophetically thanking God for things in their life you cannot see with your eyes, you do not know with your natural mind, you, you, you can't even perceive, but you know it by the Spirit. Everybody find somebody right now and just begin to start thanking the Lord. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna open up a well of encouragement and exhortation. You're gonna begin to speak to things that are not as though they are. Those of you who are watching right now, we thank thank God for you. We thank, God, we thank God right now that there is a miracle in the message tonight. There is a miracle in this meeting tonight that even when you're watching from home, that you would receive healing in your body, deliverance in your situation, breakthrough in every area of your life. We thank God for you. We thank God that your tomorrow is better than your today. And we thank God that His presence is filling that room where you're at right now. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us in worship here at Kingsway Church. We are super blessed that you've chosen to be a part of our worship family. And if this video has blessed you, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest content. Also, you can find us on iTunes podcast under Kingsway Worship, where we will continue to post all of our Kingsway Worship moments. Also, be sure to share this with your family and friends so that you can be a part of the sound that God is wanting to release in and through His people. Thank you so much.